you guys to never forget it's important. Whether or not it is sharing something over the internet, whether it's choosing to have a very difficult conversation with somebody who you care about. I want you guys to really embrace the fact that this is not our struggle, this is not our fight. You cannot take it personally, it cannot be about us. If you want to be in this for the long haul, it has got to be about the animals because they are worth it. It is not that they have no voice, it is that their voice has been silenced for far too long. And so you need to take to the streets to amplify their unheard cries. This is nothing new. This struggle has been going on for years and years. Tomorrow marks the 16 year anniversary of the death of one of the strongest activists this world has ever seen, Barry Horn. When he was in prison, this man took it upon himself to conduct hunger strikes to bring the message of vivisection, the cruelties to the British government at the time, went on hunger strikes for 36 days, 44 days, and 68 days, so much so that it broke down his body, that he went blind in one eye, that he had kidney failure that, often, that ultimately took his life. That's a hero right there. I will ask you to keep Barry and people like him in your hearts close to you. I want to share two of his quotes that have been stuck with me for all these years and please please internalize that from june 1993 as he was writing this from prison the animals continue to die and the torture goes on in greater and greater measure people's answer to this more veggie burgers more special brew and more apathy there is no longer any animal liberation movement that died long ago all that is left is a very few activists who care who understand and who act if you don't act, then you condone. If you don't fight, then you don't win. And if you don't win, you are responsible for the death and the suffering that go on and on. This was in 1998, and those words still carry true today. One of his final hunger strikes took place that went on for 68 days. This fight is not for us, not for our personal wants and needs. It is for every animal that has suffered and died in vivisection labs, and for every animal that will suffer and die in those same labs until we end this evil business now. The souls of the tortured dead cry out for justice. They cry for the living is for freedom. We can create that justice and we can deliver that freedom. The animals have no one for us and we will not fail them. You need to take those words to heart every single day. I'd like you all to join me right now in a quick moment of silence, if you wouldn't mind, please raising a fist for our departed Barry brother and show him and those around him that that work will continue until every cage is empty. For the millions of animals whose lives are taken from them prematurely every single year in the name of profit, in the name of greed, in the name of fashion, I'm looking around and I see more than 200 of my brothers and sisters who are coming out here today to say no more. Not today, this is 2017, it's outdated. It was never necessary. It's not. There are tons of man-made garments that are keeping us just as warm, just as fashionable. It is unnecessary and good people will continue to come up to speak out against it. Thank you for that moment of silence. I'm confident when I see good people like you around standing here today that the animals will be silenced no more. Thank you.